Hello, welcome to the Spiritual Night Owl Lounge. For the purpose of this reading, this will be a five card spread um, for the star seeds. All these five card spread readings are star seeds. This is for the star seed of the Minnetonka. Now, Minnetonka, what you need to understand is one. In this particular read, this read is for your soul's life path. It's for you to navigate through this life. Now, I'm in the talking. You can be born under any of the 12 persons, but it's a soul's path journey, which your soul is called to do. That this reading pertains to for your soul. It's not a regular card reading because our soul journey and our carnal journeys might not always add up because we fight not against flesh and blood. So even though we may. I don't know. Feel things like everybody else. Our understanding and our take on different situations is a little different. Being star seeds, we're the ones who are trying to see the higher good. We're trying to see the thing that. Everybody else isn't quite seeing. Okay. Now, I'm in the talk and I have five cards here for you. And one of the things that I'm seeing on your life path is that you're feeling some love. You, your, your life path is being affected by your heart and your love. Because um, we don't want to be happy. And you're thinking about the things that you've invested in. Why would it make you happy? Now, what do I see? Mm, excuse me. Chocolate powder raisins, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Good shit. Okay. Opening up your reading, my minute talkings. You guys need to release some things and bring them to an end. You need to release people who no longer serve you, who no longer need your highest good. I don't mean to say serve you, but. I'm sure it says situations that no longer serve you. And people who may be associated with those situations. That no longer meet your highest good. You want to transition. You want to move to calmer waters. You want to manifest now. Manifestation came out in reverse. So maybe you're having problems manifesting. Some of the things that can affect 
your manifestation abilities is whether or not you're lined up mind, body, and soul and environment. Those four things must be lined up in order to manifest anything. No matter what it is. And if they're not lined up, you will have magician in reverse. But your cards read as follows. Opening and crowning your energy is release. Ending. Ending that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. This is spiritual transformation. This is ascension. That's what's crowning this read. Spiritual ascension. In your spiritual ascension, God is moving you to calm the waters. He's moving you out of these dark clouds that were in your life into some calmness, a blue light. The end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or of an end of illness. See? So the situation that you was in, it could have been causing you depression, which is mental illness. Okay? So God is telling you, come on in the sin, baby. Release everything. Ascend and manifest. Manitake. Manifest. This says, Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. So, what do you believe? Manitake. The magic of manifestation. What you don't know, or what you don't see coming, in the talkings, a windfall of abundance, wise counsel, a good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchase, like a home. Or a vehicle. This is the Ace of Pentacles. That's what you don't see coming. After you have done the work that God has required and you release Minnetaka and you release it, then God transcends you to calmer places, gives you the ability to manifest. And he brings in your manifestation. So that guess what happens next, Manitaka? You can move forward. Rewards that come from hard work. Successfully balancing many priorities at once. Determination and willpower. Public recognition. Movement. That's what you get, men are talking. Movement. Wow. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is just simply beautiful. Release and ascend. Move to calmer waters. God brings you, you, you begin to manifest. God brings it into fruition. And then you move to higher ground. You can't beat this, men are talking. You got the best one on the ridge yet. Okay. So, I'm going to talk and be blessed. And um, this is your soul's journey. This is what's happening with your soul. This is your soul. So, wow. Hmm. Okay, my Minnetakins. Like I said, you can be born under any of the 12 star signs. This is a soul journey. 
is your soul. And this is what God wants you to know. As you release, you will ascend. As you ascend, he will move you into calmer waters. As he moves you into calmer waters, you will begin to manifest. What you don't know is that your manifestations are going to come into fruition. We're just going to give you that movement that you so desire to go forward. Beautiful. Okay, men are talking. Ah, this is your energy life path checking. Okay, so keep up the good work. Till it's time to see you again. Here at the Spiritual Night Out Lounge. Now, if you need any further readings or anything, any deviation, divination work or anything like that, check the link below. Get in touch with your girl. And I'll do what I can do to help you. But uh, looks like you got it pretty well under control here. Okay? So, you be blessed, Miller Talkings. Bye bye. Just time to see you again. Spiritual Night Out. Bye bye.